here we have the very iconically dressed Adeli penguin. Unlike the emperor penguin, which mainly have their colonies near the center where the ice is thicker, these penguins can be usually found on the Antarctic Peninsula and the outer coast of Antarctica and specifically look for bare grounds to make their nests. Watch as the penguins lay on their bellies on the ice just doing whatever. Watch as they toboggan on the ice. They do this to give their legs a break. Here we have a king penguin. This penguin is the second largest in the world and has one of the one of its biggest colonies in South Georgia, not the United States, but a different place, a different South Georgia near the Antarctic. Did you know, back in March of 2018, one of the largest colonies of Adelie penguins was found on islands in western Antarctica called the Danger Islands and was home to 1.5 million penguins hiding in plain sight. That is a lot of penguins. That you just saw is known as an ecstatic display. They can, they sometimes do that to show that they're happy and to communicate with each other. Also, penguins do indeed have knees. They are just not visible. So, they do have knees, people. They do have knees. Here we have the Emperor Penguin, the Giga Chad of the penguins, and the largest of them all. These penguins can be up to like three feet tall and are found in near the center of Antarctica. These penguins travel very long distances to get to the ocean and are best known for their appearance in the and the documentary March of the Penguins. They are the only known penguin species to actually settle and breed in the Antarctic winter. This add-on has a lot of other different penguins that for some reason spawn on the ice, like this yellow-eyed penguin. Unlike most of the other penguins you know of, these penguins can be found in semi my tropical regions in like I think New Zealand and maybe Australia. I have to fact check that though. And they are known for their distinct yellow eyes which gives them their name. And this is a rock hopper penguin or a macaroni. Okay, which one are you? Yep, that's a rock hopper. Yep, that's a rock hopper. Rock hopper penguins are known to settle on cliffs very high up. One I saw in a documentary had a colony settle on a cliff a hundred feet in the air. And they are best known for their hopping abilities. These are the Gentoo penguins. Similar to the Adeli in terms of looks, these penguins have been known, should be known for their appearance in Mr. Popper's Penguins, and are usually found near where Adelis are, well, sort of in that region, and I think they're like the fourth largest penguin, so they pretty big. Fun fact, penguins sleep standing up.
If you want to see more like this, then consider subscribing and goodbye!